Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I hope you're in the mood for another shooting video. This is an unfinished bow, but you've seen it before several times, including when I was teasing an unfinished bow that I was painting. It would be this. My Manchu-style bow. It's not perfect. The finish is a little bit rough. The main thing I was going for was this kind of muted, muted subtle color. There's, you know, an orange, but it's not super saturated. There's a blue, but it's not super vibrant. Just a nice, colorful, but not bright bow. Because most of the bows that I decorate, if they're colorful, they're really colorful. I didn't want that in this. I haven't finished it yet. I haven't really finished painting the ends, and I need to lightly sand and refinish the sias, and maybe wrap the ends with something. I'm also scuffing the paint in several areas. I probably should make a whole new bowstring, and I need to wrap the handle, which is why I'm not overly concerned with shooting it right now and protecting it, because it will damage the finish. But that's okay, because I know all that's going to happen is I'm going to cover it up. So let me just go ahead and string this sucker. You see what I mean about the string, right? In an ideal perfect bow, that knot would rest right there. The other thing that would be nice would be if these were canted forward by another, oh, 15 degrees, say. But I haven't yet tried that. We'll see. I'm pretty happy with how it is for the moment. It draws beautifully. It looks beautiful. It's a fairly heavy bow. But due to its great length, as soon as it lifts off, it lightens right up. The... Uh, the bow feels great. Let's see how it shoots, though. I really haven't tried that yet. Thanks to the nice damp ground, I was able to just sort of thrust those arrows right into the ground just with a good casual toss. So much easier than carrying a quiver. Maybe not good practice, but... Though I do have a Manchu thumb ring, I will be shooting these three-finger Western style just for consistency's sake. Holy jeez. I'm not pulling that 28 inches. I know, and that one wasn't even close. There's very little hand shock. And this thing is a rocket. I can't wait to test this thing out in the chronograph. Two in the same hole, how do you like that? I wish I could say I meant to do that. What do you say we get a different angle? thrusting them into the ground with great force there. They're just sinking in because the ground is so nice and soft. We've gotten tons of rain, more tonight, which means unfortunately I probably won't be able to get out and do a crani test on this thing right away, but soon I will. There's a little bit of a sharp hand shock, but there's not a big thump. It's more like a snap. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I like it. This thing might be as fast or faster than any of the other bows that I've made. The fact is, it's a beautiful, beautiful basic specimen. Now, the cool part, this is just a baby man shoe. I really want to make one that's in the range of 70 to 80 pounds using one and a quarter inch PVC. The same stuff that Nick made his 80 pound long bow out of. I want to make a bow that's about as long, 66 inches, only I want to make it shaped more like this with some nice light wooden sears. If you think that bow could cast it at 170, 180 feet per second, Imagine what it'll do when you subtract about a pound of PVC weight off the tips. I think we're going to sling some stick. Thanks for watching, YouTube. This is a beautiful bow. Actually, take a look at that. The, uh, the finish is barely marred. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.